right data warriors we are back and i've got another get and transform feature to whoop on you tonight and i want to know are you ready for me to whoop it on you are you ready for me to whoop it on you whoop it on us. See, what about you young man over there on the aisle in the red shirt what do you want whoop it on us yeah now see there's a young man who's ready to whoop crap data whenever he gets the chance to and we got another tool what i have to whoop on you i have to set this up a bit and show you where we're going because it's not intuitive here is some data we got a list of names and do you know any of these names all right Let's do a query from table now here is our query and if I open it right here I can right click and I get this menu copy delete rename okay that's obvious but now duplicate and reference let's hit duplicate okay let me right click delete it now I'm back here right click reference what is the difference that's what we're here to deal with tonight is to look at what does it mean to reference a query because duplicate is duplicate but I'm going to show you about reference and how to use it all right I'm going to close this because I do not want this query X discard let's go to the musicians tab now I want data by instrument musician band one band two for those that were in more than one band simple enough but look what showed up unhide look at this bass is right the musician okay now look at the band is separated by a semicolon rather than split apart by the columns but that's the basis now look at the drummers we got drums and then a name in the same column the bands are in two different columns that's good here's one of those situations where data cleansing is so important because this data is a mess and sometimes people will give us data and it's messy on purpose they want to make us look bad they're trying to protect something of their own or the data is a mess because that's how they got it and they don't have the wherewithal to clean it themselves or they just don't have time and this is why when you can clean data you have power So let's add to that power. Look at what we've got. We've got one big data set and basically it's got two data sets in it. There's cleansing that needs to be done, but if we can split the data set into the two pieces, the cleansing is easier rather than trying to cleanse this data set all at once. First step, Put this data into a table. Insert table. My table has headers. OK. Scroll down. Good. It did capture all of our data. And if we double click here, look at that. Band one, band two has nothing in it. Let's go to data and from table to start our query. All right, and now immediately I can show you about reference. Open this, right click, reference. Now, I wanna rename this and call this our raw data. Now I'm gonna click on table two, two, and I am gonna start to clean up the base data filter 
I want to unselect and select base. That's the data I want to keep. And I want to go here and split this column. Split column by delimiter. I want to split by custom because there is a semicolon and a space right there. Oh, yeah. Semicolon space at each occurrence. Cool. Let's slide this over. Here we got Primus and we got the Flying Frog Brigade. Okay, we can get rid of this, remove, and then I'm going to call this one Band 2. And here we've got Band 1. Oh, yeah. And what I'm going to do is rename this Basis. Now, we got to deal with the drummers. Let's go back to raw data, right click, reference. Mm. Let's call this drummers. Oh, yeah. I'm going to filter and get rid of any row that says bass. All right. Now, cleaning up this drummers list is going to be trickier because I could do a fill up, but that's going to create a problem because watch, if I do a fill up here, fill up. Now, LaBelle went all the way up here when Bernadette Cooper did not play drums for LaBelle. So that is not going to work. So rather than bring the songs up, I want a way to bring the names down. We can do that. Add a column. Add a conditional column. And what do I want to have here? I want to put um, names if the instrument column equals drums, then Null. Otherwise, column, instrument. Okay. Excellent. Now, let's do a fill down. Oh. Now we've got Jerome Braley, Five Stair Steps. Parliament Funkadelic. Uh-huh. Now what? I can keep any row that says drums in instrument. Unselect. Click. Oh, yeah. Now we got to change some things around. Names goes over here. This can go away. This is actually band two right now. You got that. And then this is band one. And then we say musician. Yeah, we got exactly what we want. And we say instrument, musician, band one, band two. Instrument, musician, band one, band two. Everything is all set. Now, since I wanted a single list, I'm going to have to append these two queries. Let's go ahead and do that. Home. Append queries. Append queries as new because I want to start a new query as opposed to stick one query onto an existing query. Here we go. New. Mm. Primary table basis, append to drummers. Okay, and there is our final list. Let's go ahead and call that final. It's all here, baby. It's all here. Till I get to you. Till I get to you. Let's go ahead and close the load. God, here we go, and that's the list.
is what we wanted. Larry Graham played bass with Sly and the Family Stone and Prince. Everything is right. But now, it's not that simple, is it? Ever. There's more data. Drag that up to the table. Uh, we should be able to refresh our query. Let's go over. Come on. Right click. Refresh. Did this turn out right? Yes, it did. Earl Young. This is right. This is right. Jelly Bean Johnson played with the time. Yes, everything is right. Now, let me explain what just happened. If we duplicated this query, we would just have a duplicate of it. And everything that we did to the basis query would have nothing to do with the raw data. So when we add more data, it would be in the raw data query, but not in the basis or drummer's query. So by referencing the query, we still have a connection to our raw data. And there you go. Another tool for being somebody's hero by keeping this world's data clean. And I really want to thank the young man there on the aisle in the red shirt. Thank you for coming here all the way from New Jersey. Keep that data clean.